this is uh, uh, a very um, unusual uh, place for you to be. Uh, this will be your, your first trip to uh, Cyprus. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um, as you said, my name is Yana. I'm originally from former Yugoslavia, but I live in Australia now, um, or currently living in Belgrade. Um, I did an undergrad in psychology and then a master of human rights, and now I'm working for Refugee Aid Serbia with Felix. Yeah. yeah. So I describe Felix as, as a hands on mm -hmm. kind of human rights and welfare worker, and you're in much the same vein. Is that so? You're actually involved with. with delivery of services. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. We, um, we were previously distributing aid every single day to about between five and 700, up to 800 people. And that included from food to hygiene to clothing. And then a lot of casework as well when we had new arrival or people that had just newly arrived, um, getting them the, referring them to the relevant organizations and agencies, medical services and legal services and all sorts of things. Well, you must be grateful for the opportunity of sitting on your backside for a couple of days and listening <laughs> yeah. to some interesting things happening. Uh, what's it been like? What's it been oh. like sitting down there? Yeah, it's been incredible. It's, it's really fascinating because I don't have a background in philosophy, so just to uh, get a base uh, understanding in these kinds of things and then to be able to develop that and to be able to see everyone's perspectives and experiences because there's such a variety of experiences across the room. And then to be able to um, see the practicalities in our work because with refugees, we obviously we put human dignity at the, at the core. So to be able to see a framework or um, you know, the literature behind dignity and just be able to unpack that even more and sort of develop that even further. So that's fantastic. And so what are you going to take away? I mean, you're, you're a real hands-on person. We've been involved in um, kind of theoretical philosophy. Um, how, do, how do you make the link? What is it for you? Yeah, I think I think the link is 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 exactly that is to be able to have such a diversity in literature and again experiences and such, um, and then to be able to just connect that all and then compare sort of that literature from, in some cases, quite a while ago, and to see that in the current um, in, t in current affairs. I think that's. Kind of what what are you going to tell your colleagues about the Moral Dialogue when, when you get back? Well, um, we, we work with a lot of young people, like myself. Mm. <laughs> so a lot mm. of our volunteers are kind of in this age range between 20, 19, 20 and you know, 25, 26, 27. And so everyone's sort of at the beginning of their careers and sort of entering um, you know, just the world more... Uh, um, you're just entering the world, I guess. So, so, do you think this will be a good time for them yeah, to, to come along? Yeah, I think I think that's exactly right. I think yeah. this is the kind of thing that, particularly young people, is it would be a really great uh, opportunity for them to be able to start developing those insights and understandings. Well, you're one of our younger. Uh, yeah. Team. It's been fantastic to have <laughs> you, you and we've been enriched by the honours well. But thank you so much. Thanks.